in addition to being an author, I own a professional decluttering company. And I've been doing this for 15 years. And what I found is that if you are super attached to something, I'll give a perfect example in your real time. You as a content creator get shipped a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to imagine a ton of skincare and makeup mm-hmm. and, <laughs> you know, that a lot yeah. of that stuff comes your way. And you're like, I don't want, I can't. If I said to you, look, I'm going to swing by your house. I'm taking all this stuff to a, a shelter for, you know, survivors of domestic violence had to leave in the middle of the night. You would be, you'd be like, here, take it all. Take it all. Like I can help someone with this stuff. So if it's hard for you to let go, find a place to donate. Even if it's your babysitter or your best friend, find a personal connection because our kindness is going to, our kindness and generosity is going to outweigh our attachment. So you, you'll be like, I, I'm, you know, right? Like, I, I don't want this stuff, but I don't want to throw it away. And these companies send it to me. Oh, you mean I can give it to someone who needs it and uses it? So that's one way. And with things that are historic artifacts, I just had this conversation on Instagram um, about yearbooks, high school yearbooks. Do we want them? Do we need them? I've never looked at mine again. And then somebody told me that Ancestry.com is collecting all yearbooks to like do all. And so it's like, so sometimes with this historical things, it's finding an organization or your family, you know, a church or so, there's somebody's looking for that stuff. And sometimes once you get through all that, sometimes what's historical is just a family story. It's just right. a family lore, yeah. you know, it's understanding the story and then the unpacking it. 